I'm just sitting here looking at all my toys and trying to decide which toys to open. I think I'm going to open up these Coco blind bags. I mean, four blind bags isn't very much for an opening, but I chose the rare ones. And I noticed that I have kind of a Coco outfit on right now, so it might be the perfect opportunity to open these. There's my thumbnail. So, let's jump to it. Tear tap, tear tap, tear tap. Wait, I should probably do them in order. This is E. F. It's in order. I chose the first one. So this is blind bag letter ending in E. So that's how you know to choose ones that are different. Now these are all the rare ones. I took the ones that there were less of in the package. I saw a full case. I was gonna buy one of each letter, but $60 is a lot of money to pay. I have to put these together, so I wonder if you can mix and match the body parts. And they're pretty cute. I love all the Coco toys, but I'm having a hard time choosing which ones I like more. Do they have like a checklist? No. So I don't know the names of the characters, unfortunately. I don't know if they stay together too well. This is the first one I got. And he looks pretty darn awesome. I think I've seen this one in one of the multi-packs. It's hard for me to remember. That would be not cool because I could buy a multi-pack. However, the multi-packs are $15 each. So you get three figures for $15. Now the blind bags are $5 each. So you don't save any money getting the blind bags or buying the multi-pack. Usually you save when you buy a multi-pack. Sure, there's no checklist in here. This is the checklist. So maybe I just remember him from being in these colors in the giant figures. I love every scale of these. Eventually I'm gonna have to buy them. I'm waiting for a sale though, because I want so many of them. Here is another one which I also think is in a multi-pack. So she's rare in the blind bags, but not rare in the multi-packs. But I, again, I could be mistaken. It's been so long since I went to the store. Oh, there goes my do them in order. No, I still did them in order. <laughs> this is F. And I take it this is Coco's mom. Wait, Coco's mom if she was a skeleton. So maybe it's not. Now the paint on these is pretty good. And I just think these are so Mexican coolness. Articulated at the waist, at the head where you join them. And then the arms are a bonus. Don't have to put the arms together. And now I'm remembering to look. I and then J. So E. This one's F, this is I. This one might be really rare because I don't think I've seen this guy anywhere. I like these figures. There's also a collector set you can get. Wait, I don't know if this is a boy or a girl because it's a skeleton, but it looks like it has a dress on. Really short. I can't get the neck on right. These are made by Mattel. Yeah, you can see that the paint job looks pretty good. A very big head on this one. I guess I'm not gonna get a Coco because he would be a much more common character. Unless one of these is more rare than the other. And this is J. Letter J. And this is one that I don't even see on the package. Unless it's a different color blue. I got two of the same characters. I guess they swap the colors of this guy in the blue. They have like a light blue bow tie on. Here he has a dark blue bow tie. So maybe you can get them in different colors in the same letter. I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait and find out to see if I see somebody who got a navy one. I wouldn't expect these to be the ones that were the most rare, but if they are, at least I got them while I could. I just watched a Elastic video and she said that she couldn't find the eye, so I know that the eye is definitely rare. So that's who I got. I like these figures a lot. I'm gonna have to get the other ones. 
I was being reluctant because I thought I would find some at the Mattel store. Unfortunately, there was not any. At least there wasn't by the time I got in there. So let me know what you think of these figures. The paint is actually pretty good. The details are great. They're super cute. They're a pretty good size. If they were a little bigger, then I wouldn't have to get the other ones, but because that they're this scale, I kind of want the bigger six inch action figures. And then the 12 inch action figures have great detail on them. And there's just two of them. You get Coco and you get this skeleton guy right there. Let me know what you think of these figures. Please come back and check out some more reviews from me. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Ah, 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 scary. $60 is a lot to pay for a lot of little minifigures. See how much smaller they are than Monster High minifigures? $2. $5.